man Derek Rostanio again who's having a good year himself he won down in Orlando and last year he won at San Francisco Key Biscayne won at Washington and most importantly won at Frankfurt in the World Championships the ATP Tour World Championships the first of its kind and over a million seven last year and this year is victory at Orlando a great serve he's a good volley and there's another American that uh, is going to uh, continue rising is he still living in that VW van no, I, I think he's uh, picked up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> actually, he's cut his hair short, and not that that makes any difference, but uh, he, he's got a new look uh, mentally and physically, and uh, he's a dangerous player. You don't know what he's going to do. While we have a moment, Nick, can you tell the story about when you almost expelled Andre from your tennis academy way back when he was 14? Well, he came into the office one day, and I was about ready to send him home. French now brought him in there, and... Uh, I began to talk. He said, Nick, do you ever listen to anybody? And I said, well, up to this point, I don't. So I uh, listened to him for about 30 minutes, began to understand Andre a little better, and that began a wonderful relationship that uh, continues to get strong. I'm very happy to be part of the Agassiz family and, and uh, feel that Andre, although a character, is a wonderful human being inside. Did he bring a panda bear for your daughter, Nicole, to help smooth things out as well? Well, he didn't tell me how he won that until he gave that to me. They were throwing rings uh, to uh, Pepsi-Cola bottles up in Tampa. And as uh, one person took the attention of the person who sold the rings, I think the other person went underneath <laughs> and put the rings on the bottle. Whatever it worked, right? Yes, it did. He knew how to get the Nick Boletaria's heart. How does Andre Agassi prepare for Jim Curry? He's met him six times before, and we uh, prompted him with that question earlier. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole different format, which is uh, something you're not sure what to expect. Uh, for that reason, there's not a whole lot you can do except uh, go in there and hope to uh, play well, really. Uh, you know, Jim's a big hitter like myself, and so we kind of go out there and try swinging away at balls and see who, see who hits them, you know, see, see, what, see if the balls fall for for him or for me, and um, and there's not a whole lot of preparation that goes into it except the the, the mental uh, uh, motivation of, of getting up for it. They've met six times. Agassi has won four times back in Philadelphia in '89. He also won in New York that year. Won at the French, excuse me, lost at the French Open, however, to Courier. And they met again last year at the French Open. Open and Andre avenged that loss in the round of 16 in four sets. And then at Indian Wells this year on a hard court, Jim Courier won in the round of 16, 2-6, 6-3, and 6-4. Courier said he had gotten blown away in the first set. And said, "Hey, got a hold of himself and played much better and actually won the match. Went on to win the tournament as well." He sure did. I think that uh, that showed that Jim is maturing as a person because. Although he got blown away, uh, Jim stuck in there or stood in there. And, you know, if there was a year or two previous, he might have said, what the heck would and start losing his composure. Is it, fair, this, is it fair to say that he was his own worst enemy a couple of years ago? I, I think so. And, and actually, he proved out to be an asset because he wouldn't be where he is because he kept on wanting more out of himself. And he's learned how to control his temperament. And I think uh, th that's, that's terrific for Jimmy. Agassi to serve the number five player in the world against the number seven player in the world Jim Courier. There it is he starts out with uh, that little drop shot he threw in a kicker second serve and uh, he actually tried to catch Jim uh, off guard by throwing in that short uh, drop shot. about the scoreboard that sits in the middle and then you heard him the second time he said I got it that time yeah listen that first overhead wasn't that easy uh, Andre you almost hit it wide so Agassi always the consummate showman with an ace there 30 15 but Jim Courier early in the match perhaps trying to show him up he quick served him that time he, he hit the ball going up would actually caught Jim off guard Andre will throw a kicker on this, and Jim's going to try to run around it. Agassi wants to see a mark, and he's comfortable now I that think so. uh, the ball was out. 
hard to tell on the slow motion replay. Second serve, 30 off. Jim gives it to him. 